It is a major quake tonight that's happened off the coast of Chile. And if you're just walking in the door, I want to bring you up to date. And we've learned some new information as well. This was originally an 8.0. It's been upgraded to an 8.2 magnitude by the geologists who study it. We know a tsunami was generated along the Chilean coast up to at least six and a half feet high. That's just the initial wave. Usually a tsunami is a series of waves, so we don't know how bad it's actually gotten uh, down there along the coastline. Meanwhile, underway still at this hour is whether this quake will generate a tsunami that could potentially reach Hawaii or reach all the way to the west coast or up towards Alaska. We don't know the answer yet, but scientists are looking at the, the historical uh, viewpoint when we've had quakes this size, what happens and how does the tsunami uh, generate uh, in, in this area. Now, we do have a map already that if a tsunami was generated significant enough that it can get across the Pacific, it would reach Hawaii in 10 to 11 hours after the quake, which was about an hour ago or so, and it would be 13 to 14 hours for Oregon and Washington. So any kind of potential tsunami, you know, we've got a lot of prep time, and I will keep you up to date on Twitter, Facebook, and of course, coin.com uh, once the, the newscasts are done. Right now, though, it is a beautiful evening in Newport. Will you look at this? We We've got the, the seagulls flying around, the sun glinting off the waters of the Pacific. I dare say this is one of the nicest places in the Northwest right now. Beautiful, 50 degrees, and we'll be watching things for those of you along the coast, so there's no surprises coming our way. Now, it, tonight, our forecast, inland, we still have some areas of light rain showers, kind of decreasing the drizzle. The clouds will begin to break up a little bit, at least for a while this evening. Tomorrow morning, areas of drizzle are possible, uh, along with a sprinkle or two. Otherwise, a mostly dry day day and maybe a late day sprinkle tomorrow. Gray day. I mean, I think April feels a lot like March did. We just haven't warmed up or dried out. 50 degrees is our current temperature. We did make it to the low 50s today. 51 was the official high. And uh, you know what? We should be at 59 this time of year. So we were about eight degrees short. And most places that was true. Central Oregon, you had quite a bit of snow. And uh, that was true over the Cascades, a few inches. Sun River had snow. Bend had snow. Lapine had at least four inches this morning. And now that's all kind of dwindling as drier air moves in from the north. But we're not totally done yet. You can see that we still have areas of rain, particularly on the west side of town. And as you go down through Woodburn, you know, the commute between Salem and Portland is wet at times this evening. Rainfall totals, well, they were on the light side on the west side, but look at this. This is a lot of snow that melted into the rain gauge in central and eastern Oregon. So this is the main storm. It's dropping to the south, continues to move that direction. We were talking about that last night. We're still getting some moisture wrapping back around it, and that will keep the shower threat going for a little while. But tomorrow morning, I think we're reduced to morning clouds, areas of drizzle, and then clearing skies as the clouds start to break up by midday. Lots of sun coming out in central and eastern Oregon. Maybe a late day sprinkle or two popping up over the coast range and moving across the I-5 corridor, but not much. For the most part, we are dry. And then it'll be Thursday, later Thursday, before we get some rain again. So we've got a little reprieve coming our way. Tomorrow, 61 for a high temperature. In the valleys, we'll be in the 60s and we'll see 50s for those of you along the coast. Here's your seven-day forecast now. And here's how it looks. Uh, basically, on Thursday, clouds increase. Rain becomes likely by evening. And uh, then as we go into the next few days, we are going to be warming up. And so temperatures will be headed for the 70s, I think. But this is really exciting. By the time we get to Tuesday, I mean, can you believe this? How about a high of 72 degrees? That would make it the warmest so far this year. All right, it's about time we have one of those on the 70s. It is about time. Thank you.